is a show, it goes under 42 different names, but I'll just say Degrassi, <laughs> all right? There's uh, Degrassi High School, the Junior High School Street. You name it, they've done it. School days, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, it is the longest running and most successful franchise in TV history. It's been on PBS, Nickelodeon, and now new episodes can be streamed on Netflix. First, we'll take a quick look back and then we'll meet the woman behind all of it. Are you going to make a movie, Ida? I might. You got me pregnant. You could have kept your stupid mouth shut. I'm trying to help you. I don't need your help. Because why? Because I'm gay. Oh, the drama of love. Wow. <laughs> Linda Schuyler is with us. Uh, let's take you back. I was saying you were a school teacher. I was. In, in, a uh, junior high school teacher. A junior high school Very teacher. different yes. world with adolescence. Yes. Very different world. So yeah. somehow or other from that transition, was that in, in Toronto? Mm-hmm. You came up with the idea for a, a show, but it wasn't this show yet, right? No. It, it was when, um, when I was teaching, and I taught eight years at the junior high level, I was always so um, frustrated that there weren't any shows, particularly for that age group, because mm -hmm. so many people look at adolescence and think attitude and you know angst and anger, and I saw all that, but I saw all that as a cloak, as a cloak to anxiety and you the know fear, the fear of the world and growing up and my and my body and where do the I sit changes, in all of that. Trying like to relate, yeah. yeah, the hormonal changes, the changes in your brain, the, you <laughs> know, your relationships. And, and I kept looking for material that would be good for them. And, you know, eventually, it's like one of those light bulb things. You just sort of say, you know what? After eight years of teaching, I'm going to make these shows. Wow, yeah. Yeah. what a risk to take. I know. Your passion drove you to it, but still. Yeah. Now, it, it started, you, had, you did a few things, the stories of different kids. Uh, and then it morphed basically into the first series. As when, I think I picked it up with junior high. Is that when most... Uh, yeah. That South of the border, sense. knew it, yeah. Yeah, because we, we were very fortunate. We um, were able to do a co-production with both CBC and with um, PBS. We were with WGBH Boston at the mm -hmm. time. And that's when we had done some earlier incarnations of the show, but that's when we really got the opportunity to really tackle those teenage problems and talk directly and authentically to young people. You know, people credit you with breaking boundaries and taking chances and you know, going out there taking risks, which is of course what you do but at the same time that is what's happening in life for these kids and so what you're doing is just portraying their reality you're showing everyone what's going on what what we like to think is that if the kids are talking about it in the schoolyard in the school hallways malls we should be talking on our show as uncomfortable as it may be for some parents out there absolutely and yeah. I really love it when I hear that parents watch the show with our kids because if we can start some dialogue maybe it's like an icebreaker Do you want a sex yeah you totally because yeah. it's safe because you can talk in the third person the about what the characters did and then you can segue into their own lives. Well, well when you talk about parents, now the, the kids who were watching your shows when they first went on, they're like 95 years old now. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> they're kind of like in their early 40s yeah, okay. and they are the parents of the Degrassi Next Class, which we've just launched on Netflix. Mm -hmm. So I think that's really exciting because I'm hoping there will be real dialogue between the original fans of the show and um, the new fans. Well, and there will be the, uh, oh, you know, Back in my day, I know. <laughs> that's going to happen. Uh, did you I, ever imagine after we thirty? Yeah, yeah, after thirty-five did, years. Did, did, did you, you imagine think? two years of yeah. shows? No, no. I am so you know every year because it's show business. You never know from one year to next if your show is going to go mm -hmm. again. Unstable. And every year, <laughs> yes, you know. Every year we we would get picked up. And it was like, thank goodness we lived for another day. And here we are. I mean, the excitement we all felt when on Friday, like just over forty-eight hours ago. Netflix pressed a button and they and put Degrassi are. out in like 190 countries. And a whole series. Ten episodes. Isn't that wow. crazy? It's, it's all out there. Never could have imagined that in a million now, years. Now, wow. one thing before you go. How, how have you resisted the siren call to leave Canada, come to Hollywood, make the big, big dollars doing these kind of things? I love my life. <laughs> <laughs> I love how I live. I love how I work. I, why change it? <laughs> I'm loving you. Okay. Thank you. Oh, that's great. Great answer. Thank you. Wonderful answer. Uh, thank you. Uh, we'll see how okay. many more years we can keep it going. I'm with you. Yeah. Uh, episodes of the Grassy <laughs> no Next, pressure. as we mentioned, now available on Netflix.